Welcome inside. The current homeowner has lived in the home for 16 years and has painstakingly renovated the entire home inside and out. Um, as you'll see as we come through the foyer here, the original crown molding exists, as well as when we walk into the, fo um, the living room to our right, there's some great crown molding original to the home. Right off the living room, you have the grand dining room. Uh, throughout the home, you're going to see a lot of restored uh, hardwood floors, the plank with uh, floors, which are beautiful. And on the first floor, we have nine and a half foot ceilings. To finish off their vision, the current homeowners had just added another window to the dining room to balance this room perfectly. Again, uh, just nothing, no details left unturned, and uh, as you'll see throughout the rest of this house, it's meticulously maintained and restored. Right off the dining room and the foyer as well uh, is this restored kitchen with beautiful granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, professional cook hood that vents to the outside, uh, it's a five burner and a double, uh, double oven as well. Maple cabinetry and a large pantry off the back side of the home. The homeowner added a door to look out into the beautiful gardens and a picture window above the sink. Here we are in the basement where you'll see that the homeowner is going to great lengths to bring this perfect basement to life. They had the floors dug out an additional foot to allow the headroom in the basement. As you can see, I'm six foot two and have no problem fitting in this basement in an old basement like this, which is tremendous. Professionally waterproof throughout. Added a window to let some uh, light inside the basement. Added this beautiful door with a speakeasy. Gas burning fireplace with marble surround. And you see off to my left here, there's a replicated leather uh, bookcase door, which actually leads into an unfinished section of the basement where it's storage, a second fridge, and it's perfect for storage in an old home like this. This door was added, uh, which is a historic door from a historic house as well, uh, which is a walkout basement with bulkhead doors that opens up. So when you're having your garden parties, you can let people in and out of the basement with this additional fridge back here. Everybody can entertain inside as well as out. This double lot off the side here. As we come upstairs, you're going to notice we have four uh, bedrooms, all great size. Um, we have hardwood floors underneath any carpeting that may exist. Uh, two full baths, and we have two additional floors. Now, the key points of the house, too, as well, the basement and the first floor have central air, their own zone, and the second and third floor have their own zone as well, which is perfect for uh, the summer times. On this level here you have a uh, back bedroom which is currently being used as an office. The full bath to your right. Jacuzzi tub. Full shower. The exposed beams, original beams from the home as well. The vaulted ceilings. This room here, which was the original master bedroom, is humongous. Um, four windows throughout, which is great natural light, deep window sills, a very large, expansive uh, closet that was added. It goes completely from one wall almost to the other. Hardwood floors, the originals as well. On the third floor of the home, you have the uh, private master suite that the homeowners had done a couple years back. As you notice, you'll walk through here with vaulted ceilings, plenty of space, lots of natural light again, with windows on every side of the room. Through 
these stained glass doors, you'll find the master bath, which has a humongous walk-in shower. Uh, door in the morning, the natural light comes up from the, this, uh, the east here and lights up the doors, which is a beautiful uh, morning awakening every, every day. These are pocket doors into the marble bath. With period sink that was professionally redone. Lots of light again. And gigantic multi person shower. And if you need to know what the traffic is in the morning, look right out there on 76 and see where you're heading, determine which best is the best way to go. We entered a fenced in yard here. You'll notice that this house is situated on a double lot. Great for parties and entertaining outside. A little courtyard here on the right side of the house, and behind the home is a professionally landscaped, manicured lawn uh, and gardens area. What is that? Fountain here with fish inside. A lot of variety of species of plants here in the yard. As you see the left here, this whole side of the house was just recently repointed. The third window uh, was added over here with that, that second window in the dining room. All new sills were installed. Very, very private. As you notice, the residence to the right here doesn't have any windows off the side of that house. This is a perfect backdrop for use in your yard. It's flagstone walkway. These are all the way out the back. You'll notice this is a, um, a large front to back street lot as well. Where a lot of these houses have houses behind them. This one is an open yard, which completely goes out to the other street behind us. Shed was just added as well. A perfect complement to the house for storage and bikes and yard equipment. The home itself is about 2,400 square foot and situated almost a quarter acre lot. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you seeing the video tour here today. This is one of those special, unique homes that you cannot take in the pictures, the video, just don't do it enough justice. So if you want to take a look at it inside in person, please just give us a call here and we'll be sure to set up a personal viewing with you and the homeowner so you can understand how much work and effort has been placed into this home. Over $700,000 the homeowner spent to restore this home to its current beauty. Thanks again.